Hello, today I'm going to show you how to migrate your activity data from Rentastic to Strava. Uh, assuming you're logged into your Rentastic account, Rentastic doesn't offer the option to export your data directly, so you have to use a little trick. We're going to use a JavaScript that will actually take the data from Rentastic website and exports it into individual files. So you go to GitHub and find one of the many example scripts that will do that. I put the link in the in the show notes. You copy the script and you go back to the Rentastic website where you're logged in. You go to your activities page and open the JavaScript console in your browser, preferably Chrome. And then to the Activities Overview. And once that has loaded, you paste the JavaScript snippet from GitHub into the JavaScript console and press Enter and it will start fetching the activities from the Rantastic website and downloads them into individual files. That may actually take quite a while. Uh, for me, it's a couple of years of activities. Uh, it downloaded over a thousand individual files. Okay, and once you've got all these files on your disk, you can import them into the Strava website. So, assuming you are logged in into your account in the Strava website, you can go to the plus in the upper right, choose Upload Activities, and Upload Individual Files. You can upload up to 25 files. Just drag and drop them into the Choose Files field, and it will upload them automatically to Strava, and Strava will pause and um, show you what it read from those files and you see all your activities. You just click Save and View and then you can go on with the next 25 files. It might take a while if you have a lot of activities but it's still sort of convenient and straightforward to do. It's not really rocket science. So that's how you would move your activities from Rentastic to Strava and it not only includes the GPS data but also the heart rate, heartbeat settings and stuff like that. That's it. Pretty easy actually.